Coaching is actually a, a confidential space that allows people to step into whatever's next for them. Um, there are all of these patterns, unconscious patterns, thinking patterns, behavior patterns that you've been running on. Um, that's done really well for you. It's brought you success. And what coaching can do is it can shine a light on that and it can help you see which one of those patterns need to expire in order for you to sort of evolve into whatever next level of success you have. It's an in-house coaching practice, which is pretty unique actually, which means that the coaches here at Benchside don't just work with individuals, they also work with teams, and they're also holding the company as a whole in mind. At Benchside, anyone really can use the coaching services. So we provide all sorts of ways to experience coaching from group coaching, um, we have company-wide practice labs and company-wide leader circles that's available for, for all of the leaders. And then uh, myself and Kari, the two coaches at Benchside, we provide what we call like drop-in sessions for anyone who is wanting support. We also have dedicated one-to-one -one leadership sessions with uh, people leaders, um, but we're also dropping in to do team coaching kind of as needed or doing workshops. And then also monthly, we're surfacing up insights and um, ideas about how we might also improve or protect the culture of Benchside. One of the main benefits of coaching for our folks at Benchside is insight and self-knowledge. And so this is a dedicated space to slow down. As you know, at Benchside, we move fast and we're very action oriented. And sometimes what gets missed in that is an opportunity to sit back and reflect and think about uh, what's the highest and best use of my time and my experience and my um, areas of strength. And coaching allows for that space of reflection. And that means that when we move into action, we move into action in a way that creates the biggest impact. And the second is around dynamics and people influencing. And so I see bench sires using the space of coaching to understand their colleagues better and also to understand what drives uh, high performing team dynamics so that when they do apply kind of the best work of their own life, they also understand how to facilitate that for others and, and how you can activate a team to do more than we could do on our own. It's, you know, helping them have a place where they can get clear about, this is the vision that I have for myself as a leader in the future. Documenting that, attaching language to it. And then the coaching becomes a space where they can, it's a space of account where they can always come back to, you know, this is who I want to be out there. Uh, and ideally it's a, it's a place where they can champion themselves and it's a place where they can remind themselves of who they are as they go about leading other folks at Benchside. We ensure confidentiality, which means that everything that gets shared with coaches at Benchside stays private, um, just between you and your coach. Uh, we might surface insights in a way that are more general, but never in a way that would identify you. So that's one way that we kind of tell, tell your inner feelers, like it's okay, this is a safe spot. Um, we also create agreements around coaching, which means that we have a beginning time and an end time. Um, in the coaching world, we call this creating a container. It's okay for you to cry in here, or it's all right with me if we talk about that. And so we're starting to kind of create space and openness um, around some of the agreements that we make in a coaching container, which is what's allowed and what's not allowed. And for Jomar and myself, we're consistently reminding people that their full self, their true self is allowed here. Um, and then the third thing is that we also show up as real humans. It's not just a job, right? This is like truly us caring. As coaches, we care about every person we talk to.